Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from Luke chapter 11, verses 14 through 23. He was driving out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the mute person spoke and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, by the power of Belzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste and a house will and will be laid waste and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say it was by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger, but when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does n- not gather with me scatters. And my throat was about to start acting up again. So the revelation that Holy Spirit gave me through this scripture is there is someone and the Holy Spirit is putting it on my um on my heart that this is a spouse um that hasn't been speaking to you that hasn't been talking to you. Holy Spirit says he is about to drive out that demon that has been keeping this person mute. And even if it's not your spouse, if this is someone who hasn't been talking to you for whatever reason only you know. Okay? And um Holy Spirit said he is getting ready to drive out this demon that is keeping this person mute. And this person is going to speak to you. They're going to talk to you. They're going to come to you and they're going to speak to you. And you might be amazed. You might be shocked that this person is coming to you and that this person is talking to you. And you might be like um, second guessing this person. You may feel like, is this um, of the devil? Is this of Satan? Like, Or you might even ask God for a sign from heaven to see if it's okay to talk to this person when they come to talk to you. Okay, so you may feel like you don't know if you can trust this person. Um, Is this, uh, are they coming to hurt you? Um, You may feel like the enemy is sending this person back. Or some of you may feel like, okay, Father, you know what I'm saying? If this is from you, if this person coming back is from you, then give me a sign from heaven. Okay, and the Father is saying he knows your thoughts. And if it was the enemy who was sending this person back to you, would that make sense if this is the enemy who is trying to keep you two apart or keeping the enemy? or keeping the per- this person from talking to you? Would they then loose this person? Would the enemy then loose this person and allow this person to come and speak to you when this is something that the enemy does not want? Okay? Um, the father is saying he is the only person that can drive out a demon. And why would Satan help to drive out a demon why would um you know why would satan help to drive out a demon out of a person that he is trying to keep from communicating with you trying to keep from talking to you trying to keep y'all from talking together why then 
would the enemy allow for this person to come to you and begin to speak to you if this is something that he's trying to keep apart? Um, the father says, if by whom, um, if I then drive out demons by Bezabel, if I then drive out demons by Bezabel, uh, Bezabel name means the Lord of flies as well. If I, if I, um, drive out this, this Lord, if I drive this demon out by demons, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. So he's saying if you feel like um, the enemy drives out enemies, then let the enemy be your judge. You know, if you feel like the enemy drives out his own um, his own helper or his own help or his own people, if you feel like he drives them out and he gets rid of his own people and he gets rid of his own activity and he stops uh, bad from happening, then let the enemy be your judge. But a strong man full, but um, if, um, but if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then know that the kingdom of God has come up on you. Okay, so the father is saying, if you believe that the enemy did it and you believe the enemy has the power to drive out uh, demons or get rid of evil and everything else, and the enemy is going to help you uh, reach whatever it is that you're going to reach and the enemy is doing this, then let the enemy be your judge. But if it is by the finger of God that this demon is being drove and drove out and this person is able to speak to you and come to you again, then know that the kingdom of, of God has come up on you. Okay, so which one do you choose to believe? And the father says, whoever is whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. Okay. So the father is saying, if you are for him, then you are for him. But if you are against him, then you are against him. If you are against him, you will run. Okay. If you are against him, you will run. But if you are for him, you will, you are for him. So demons flee. Demons flee in the name of Jesus Christ. So this is the only way a demon can be cast out. They flee. They run in the in 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 his name by hearing his name. So this is why and how a demon is casted out upon him, the name of Jesus Christ, they flee. So if this demon, this demon flee and, and for that reason, and that reason alone. OK, not for no other reason, not because uh, Satan called and said, OK, um, it's over now. I want you no. The demon came out only for one reason and one reason only, and that's because of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, called that thing to come out, okay? The Father gave me the number 931, and it means a touchstone, a dark stone used in testing materials, hence examination by torture. The father is saying this person that it, he is um, sending back to you, you don't have to ask him for a sign. You don't have to test this person. This person has been tested already by torture. OK, this this is a touchstone. This person has already been tested. In the fire. OK. It's attached to Luke eight and th 23 as they sailed across jesus settled down for a nap but son of man but but soon a fierce storm came on the down on the lake the boat filling with water and they were in real danger okay so luke eight twenty three. this verse reminded me first of jonah and the well okay um the father Snatching this person up and, and putting them where they need to be, where they should be, where they ought to be. OK, um, because of the storm and the water. 
And then it also reminded me of the video that Holy Spirit had me to release where there was a man um, and he, the water was up to here. Um, and it said this man is in high waters. OK, because this man, he has went through a lot. He has went through a lot of testing to make sure that he was going to do what the he has went through a lot of testing and a lot of examining. He has been through the fire. He has been purified. And these demons are being cast. This demon is being casted out of him. OK, this is someone who already has been tested and examined and they have been tested and examined by torture. OK, the second scripture that um, is attached to the word 931, it means a thumb and great toe. And it comes with the scripture Judges 1 and 6. And it's Adani Bezik fled, but they chased him and caught him and cut off at his thumbs and his big toes. OK, the word Adani Bezik means the Lord of Lightning. The Lord of Lightning. And it says he fled, but they chased him and cut and caught him and cut off his big toe cut off his thumbs and his big toes. So again, this is reminding me of Jonah running and, you know, the Lord snatching, snatching him up. But um, the big toes, um, the thumbs represent, because it said he ran and fled and they caught, caught, they chased him and caught him. They cut off his thumbs and his big toes. So the thumbs represent our ability to grasp what is going on in our lives. And it also represents strength and dexterity. Dexterity. Okay. So the big toe represents it is all about our destiny. And the emotions that are connected to the big toe is fear, insecurities, and betrayal. The organ that is associated with the big toe is the mouth. Again, this person has um, a demon that is keeping them mute. So not only is the big toe associated with the mouth, but it also is coming with the, the other things. This uh, demon is also coming with these other things that are mentioned. OK, the big toe is also um, a reflective point, reflex point. OK, it uh, it's a reflex point. So this person was probably like, you know, their reflexes was down. They had no reflexes, no reactions. OK, the big toe is most useful for balance and stability. And it is an important receiver of sensory feedback. It is an important receiver of sensory feedback. So this person could not really give feedback because their senses were not operating in the way that they should have been operating because they lost their grasp on what was really taking place in their lives 1321 as I was saying that they lost place they lost a bit they lost grasp and they lost a hold on what was really taking place on in their lives. OK, and they were they were having all these emotions about um, a fear and insecurities and being betrayed. And. This person just didn't know how to respond they were trying, they didn't have any balance or stability in their life. And that's, again, going back to that video of this man who um, was barely had his head above water. And I said, I felt like this man kept losing his, his footing while he was in this water. And he was just like, he was drowning and his head was like barely above water. And he just keep losing his footing. Like he going to go under any minute now and it's going to be over for him. And this is basically, basically how this man is feeling. Okay. With all these fear and insecurities and betrayal on top of that, this is some, uh, this is some of the things that this person was going through. This person did go through an examination by torture. The father allowed for this man to be examined by torture. This man went through a lot. He was barely keeping his head above water. 
the whole time that he was going through this, it really felt like to him that Jesus was taking a nap. OK, it really felt like him that Je Jesus was relaxing and chilling and on the calm down while he was barely had his head up of water. Making your way where you can. Good time. Is that the song? Making your head up of water. I think it's good times, but that's a song that just popped up in my head. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess at one day um, in your in 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 this person's life or in y'all life, you'll look back and feel like these were good times. I don't know that. At I mean. Temporary layoffs, good times, easy credit ripoffs. Good. I don't know how that song go, but I'm gonna have to look it up. But um, this person is just going through a lot, going through a lot, and then I keep hearing good times, and I don't know why. Maybe this person is uh, portraying like they're going through good times or they having good times, but they really going through all of this, um, all of this stuff, barely keeping their head above water. Or maybe you'll look back at this situation when you in good times. I don't know, but this is just a song that I heard. But however, the father is saying that this person is going to um this person he is going to cast this this demon out of this person. This person is going to come back. They are going to be able to talk and communicate um, with you and the father knows like you're going to be shocked you're going to be amazed you're going to be surprised the father knows your thoughts you're going to be thinking um you know who sent you <laughs> basically who sent you and the father wants you to know that um only he can cast out demons and this person has been tested um by torture and they have been through a lot okay And I think that's it. And um, also just know that when this is done, know that the kingdom of God has come up on you. OK, know that the kingdom of God has come up on you when this person returns to you and they are no longer mute and they are able to communicate. Know that the kingdom of God has come up on you. OK. And that is the message. Unless you want to believe that, uh, unless you want to make the enemies your judge because you just refuse to believe, you know what I'm saying, that, that um, the father sent this person and has um, has cleaned this person up, tested tested this person um, and, and cleaned this person up and purified this person. I mean, that's up to you, but... For those who believe, know that the kingdom of God has come up on you. And uh, this message is not for everybody, so take it back to the Father. But yeah, the Father is about to drive out a demon, um, drive an, out a demon of a man that was mute. Okay, and he is going to he is going to speak. This man is going to speak, and you will be amazed. You will be shocked and appalled, but, but just know that, um, it is going to happen and just know that it is by the hands of God and know that when it does happen, the kingdom of God has come up on you. And that is the message. Peace.